Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 29th. So, yeah, we're just gonna see what comes up for around the 29th. What do we got for around the 29th? Remember, the timing is fluid. So what do we have for around the 29th? King of Swords. So this is a conversation, a challenging conversation. Somebody that is very set in their ways. This person looks like they have something to say. Um... Uh, they know exactly. They're very clear. They clear communication is coming in. This person um, has made up their mind. Okay, their mind is absolutely positively made up. This is challenging information. It's probably not the best news. Doesn't look like it's good news. Okay, it's some sort of factual information. May not be what you want to hear. Now, the King of Swords is somebody who uses their head. It's not about what you feel like. It's not about your feelings. It's about the facts. So it's about the truth. It's, this is what it is. Take it or leave it. You know, that kind of information. Um, Judgment. I don't know if we got a judge here or what. This could be somebody in uh, legal. Okay, this could be somebody in legal, somebody in protection services, somebody in a professional per position. Either way, this person is a professional. Um, very, very intelligent individual making a call. There could be a call that is coming in. Um, doesn't have to be a phone call, though. Whatever it is, it's some sort of truth that is coming out. Okay, there is some sort of truth being spoken. Um, judgment is a card of release. It's a card of endings. It's a profound change. It's a, it's a life-changing decision. So there is a, there's a life is about to change. Um, this is accept, allow, release. Forgiveness may be needed. Um, this is a wake-up call of some sort, an awakening, an epiphany. Um, Could be a reconciliation as well. Forgiveness. Uh, judgment. Judgment is a card of resolution as well. It's the end of things. It's the end of a situation. It is. The trial is over. The decision is being made. The decision is made. End of it. End of end of end of uh, period. <laughs> this is it. This is the the decision is absolutely made. Lovers, and this has to do with love by the looks of things. We have somebody here that has made up their mind um, in regards to a partnership, in regards to a union. There could definitely be a reconciliation or a resolution. Could be the end of a partnership, the end of a union, okay? Because judgment is an ending. Okay, it's when you, you come to the end, you come to the end of the trial, okay, and, you know, you make the decision, okay, so it is definitely a day of choice, it is a day of decision, it's the end, it's the end of deliberation, the, de the decision is made, okay, somebody is making a decision, they may be deciding, you know, deciding between two, okay, by the looks of things, um, Six of Pentacles reversed. So that is... I don't know if we have somebody here that is greedy. I mean, the Six of Pentacles reversed. This is uh, getting unemployed, not choosing. You know, it's like... Uh, Injustice. This isn't fair. There could somebody could think there, that the choice that is being made isn't fair. This isn't fair. You know what I mean? 
there's some sort of abuse of power here with the six of pentacles or abuse of generosity in reverse. Somebody isn't uh, getting what they deserve. Um, or they weren't giving what they were supposed to give. They may have been giving crumbs or something like that. Um, the lover's card is an unexpected choice in love. It's a choice. There's consequences. And there's consequences with judgment as well. So somebody may be seeing some consequences for their judgments or for karma. Because this is karma. Um... Something could be taken away with the Six of Pentacles, you know, or going away. The Six of Pentacles reversed. Huh. Two of Pentacles. This is your choice. We definitely have choice here. Somebody, two's, two's are choices. Somebody is choosing to take a risk by the looks of things. They're choosing to go in another direction even though they know it's risky. This person is very adaptable. This person is, has the ability to... Uh, change at a moment's notice by the looks of things. I mean, definitely have a change here. Somebody has decided to take a risk. They have decided to take a risk. Their mind is made up. It's like they really, really know what they want. They're looking at a partnership. Um, they are. They're looking at a union. They're looking at a partnership. They're looking at uh, doing it. I think they've been going back and forth, you know, trying to make a decision, trying to make this choice. But now they know what they want. And it may come in a dream. They may get some sort of clarification in a dream. That's like an epiphany of some sort. They may get some sort of epiphany. Maybe somebody may be reuniting with somebody from the past because the judgment card is somebody from the past. There could be a reunion with somebody from the past. Um, there's also guidance from somebody that has passed away. So, you know, somebody that has passed away could come to somebody in a dream and, you know, give them the clarity that they need. Somebody is getting clarity. They are getting clarity after being confused. Um, they are ready for a change and I think they're ready to take a risk. So I do think somebody's going to be taking a risk and they want a new life. So they're going to, they're going to be, uh, doing it, whatever it is that they're going to be doing. Um, this is an alignment of some sort. Okay, with these two cards, we have an alignment. It's like the universe or the higher power is aligning. They're aligning the stars or the universe or two people. They're, they're making things happen at this time for a reason. This is a time of alignment of some sort. Some sort of truth is about to be revealed. That's for damn sure. And this does have to do with a union or a partnership or a soulmate. Some sort of truth is is about to be revealed. Five of Wands reversed. And the moon. So this is the end of a battle. It's the end of a fight. It's the end of a struggle. Somebody has been struggling. They've been fighting. Okay. They've been Maybe they've been fighting their emotions. The moon is about emotions. Um, hiding, hiding below, hiding their the truth. Okay, hiding their feelings. Uh, all is not as it seems. All is not as it seems. Somebody's been hiding their feelings. I feel like there's going to be some sort of revelation. Whatever. There's going to be a reveal. Somebody's going to reveal. They reveal their feelings. And I'm not sure it's going to be what you want to hear. I don't know. Uh, this person looks very stern to me. Looks very, very stern. Um, I think there's going to be a challenging conversation put it that way uh, I feel like all is not as it seems somebody has been really struggling they've been struggling with uh, other people they may have been in a situation where there was a lot of pettiness a lot of fighting 
um, a lot of games. You know, somebody was definitely playing games. These are both games. Somebody's been playing a lot of games, and now it's like they don't want to play anymore. They're done playing games. Um, ready to make a choice. You notice now one pentacle is covered. So, yeah, somebody's choosing. They're choosing one over the other. So I think they were in a... A space of indecision going back and forth definitely but now and they were confused but now they're coming out of confusion they're seeing very clearly what they need to do um, it's like a moment of clarity that uh, changes somebody's direction um, there's definitely some some hidden forces here okay um, There's fear, though. There is some sort of fear. Fear. There could be fear of losing, fear of losing somebody, or fear of getting rejected, or fear of uh, falling, fear of, uh, you know, showing their feelings. But I think whoever this person is is going to do it. Um, yeah. Four of Cups reversed. This is this is taking an opportunity. It's taking an opportunity for love. Seeing an opportunity for love. Interested. I want it. They may have missed it in the past. Somebody is seeing that they want an opportunity. And they did miss it. They did miss it in the past. So um, I do feel as though we have somebody that is. They may be even wanting to. Uh. A fight for somebody now you know what I mean or to get in the game you know they might want to get in the running or something like that anyhow somebody is seeing a new opportunity that they missed or they ignored in the past okay they ignored it they missed it now they see it now I don't know who this is um, but I think we have somebody here that was stubborn. They were. They may have been focused on some heartache, some pain. Um, maybe friends, maybe family got in the way. Um, and they let fear get in the way as well, too. But I think that they're they're replacing that fear. They're letting go of the fear. like we have an individual here that is, is following their gut okay they've received some sort of clarity there's a there's a union here there's kindred spirits right i mean the lovers is kindred spirits it's soulmates it's a perfect union and it's a major choice and that judgment is a life-changing decision. So somebody is making a life-changing decision, a life-changing choice in regards to, you know, what direction they want to go and who they want to uh, spend their life with. Somebody may be coming to talk with that king of swords that's coming to talk it may be challenging information it may be a challenging uh conversation somebody may be coming to talk to their partner to their lover or to somebody that they love because that lovers i mean it's called lovers for a reason there's been some sort of disharmony in the connection there's been a disconnection okay somebody um, didn't give they didn't give and maybe that's going to be part of the conversation um but I feel like there's a chance for a true love connection here. I think, and I do feel that way. I feel that way with the judgment card and the lovers card. This is like true love. Okay, judgment is truth, and lovers is love. So this is true love. So it is true love. But <laughs> there is a but because of the look on that guy's face. I mean, that guy looks very stern. He looks very cold and detached. So I'm not sure what the conversation is gonna be. Um, it looks a little scary to me. Um, hmm. King of Swords. King of Swords. This guy is to the point. Really to the point. He likes to hide his emotions. Doesn't like to express his emotions. Is very hard on the exterior. Has a very hard exterior. Um... Oh, 
oh, this is a soulmate. I knew that it was. I'm going to get two of the same, right? Just like this. This is definitely a soulmate connection. This is going to be a very challenging conversation between two very intelligent people who have a lot to say. Okay, this is going to be a very truthful, factual conversation. Uh, okay, there's going to be a lot of questions and a lot of answers. Okay, so I feel like there's going to be... It looks like she's she's going to listen. She's willing to listen. This guy is very stubborn. Okay, um, she's very, very to the point. So is a he. So this is going to be a very uh, intense conversation. Okay, Uh between two people so get prepared get prepared to have a conversation with uh i feel like it's a soulmate both these people are professionals too they're both professionals at whatever they do they're both in positions of leadership um of some sort they're both very uh clear on what they want so i think that's what's going to come out it's good. so the conversation is going to be about clear expectations you know um, yeah, so it looks like there's going to be a very, uh, well, both of these people feel like they need to protect themselves. Both of these people feel like, you know, uh, they want to get to the bottom of this. So get prepared, get prepared to have this conversation, uh, with a soulmate. And it, I think it has to do with the future. Um, about the future. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> 